Okay, so in this movie, we'll continue working with our placeholders, this time the thumbnails, titles, and descriptions for our, our media gallery. Now remember, we're not using PowerPoint's picture and text placeholders for the gallery items, right? Instead, we're going to use a type of placeholder that will still make it easy for you to swap out the thumbnails with your own images. What we're gonna work with is image placeholders that we created just really as, as, as bitmap images. So I created a series of these to work really as those placeholders. You'll find them in the image folder, and so we'll go ahead and bring them in here. So insert, pictures, and browse to the placeholders uh, SM small uh, folder. And let's go ahead and select all six of those. Click insert. And I'm gonna go ahead now and turn on the uh, design comp. And I'll just start moving these in place. I'm gonna need to zoom in and um, align them a little better, but right now I think I just get these generally in the right place. So the way I set this up was based on columns. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Totally doesn't matter. You could set this up to read horizontally. It's just how I had done uh, with the two columns. So I just wanted to have them like that, but uh, that really does not matter. It's just a design decision. Okay. Once I have those roughly in place, I'm gonna shift click each of them and format, align, and align left. Just wanna make sure they're aligned. And we'll do the same here. And again, those guides that PowerPoint gives us, you see how easy that is? I can see right here that number six is aligned vertically as well as horizontally with my other objects. If I turn this off, I'm just going to left align to be safe. Oh, totally fine, okay. Okay, so now that the images are in place, you can go ahead and create the title and description text boxes. These aren't gonna be placeholders, right? Just like the images, they're going to be the, uh, just the regular text boxes from PowerPoint. I'm gonna call this one video, not Vodio. Okay, I'm going to change that to my heading. I'll bring that down to 14. And I'll just stretch this out so that it aligns with the uh, heading, uh, the gallery uh, header image, header graphic. You can duplicate this, doesn't matter how I get this. I'm gonna change the font color and I'm gonna change this to the body, Whitney. And I'll bring that down to 12. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that these are aligned to the left. So arrange, align, and align left. And there we go. So I turn this off. There we go, video title and video title, or actually this would be description, right? All right, with those two uh, set up, I can now just copy them, drag it down, and align it. So what I wanna do is make sure that these are aligned to the top of the thumbnail. That's what I have there, what I have here, right? If I move this up and down, I can see that my align, my, my dashed line shows that it's, it's lining up to the top of the two and to the side of the two. Hold the control key down once more and click and drag to nudge this in place. Okay, there they are. Now you will notice that these are a little bit below the actual top of the thumbnail, which is where uh, you might want it. If that's the case, I would still use the top of the thumbnail to help set this and guide your setup of this, and then you can always nudge them up afterwards. So what I'm gonna do real quick is select all six of these, and then I'm gonna hold my control key and bring them over, and I'm still gonna use the top and side of the thumbnail to guide my placement and release. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the way I had it, the original design comp, I don't know if we'll see it too closely here, right? See though the text is just a little bit higher? It's a little bit toward the top. Even though the box is at the top, the actual letter, right, doesn't start until um, a little below that. So I'm gonna move everything up, but now that I have it all in place, I can just grab each of these, shift click them. So they're all together. And bring them up like that. So just another way to work with uh, aligning a lot of objects like that. And that actually might be a little bit too tall, so I'm just gonna bring it down.
Okay. All right, now that those are in place, I just want to do one more thing, and that's actually add a slide background. Could actually format the background and add it that way, but I'm going to add a shape because I just may decide I don't want it later on. But for the purposes of this uh, template, I'm going to use it, but just want to make it easy to take it off or change the color at another time. So format, shape fill, the gray or the blue, right click and send it back. And there's our, there's our template. Let's exit the slide master by going up to slide master, close master view, and return to the slide view. In the next movie, we'll go ahead and create our slides for each of our six videos.